Next, will new theories on controlling time and space lead us to alien worlds? Perhaps in outer space, extraterrestrials may have the capability to open a hole in space. H.G. Wells had the time machine. Sherman and Mr. Peabody had the Wayback Machine. And Michael J. Fox had a DeLorean. The fantasy of time travel is one of the most popular themes in science fiction. And now a tantalizing new theory suggests that time travel could someday be science fact. When time travel becomes possible, it will not be the kind of vehicle that's important, but rather the discovery of an interdimensional shortcut. In these scenes from Star Trek, the shortcut is a cosmic anomaly called a wormhole. We might have just discovered the first stable wormhole known to exist. Bring us about, Lieutenant. In science fiction, time travel is possible because cosmic anomalies not only warp space, they also warp time. But does science support the existence of these interstellar superhighways? The average scientist says that the distances between stars are so great, four light years to the nearest star, that star travel is simply impractical. It would take them hundreds of years to go between nearby star systems. Therefore, they are skeptical that we have been visited by aliens from outer space. Michio Kaku is a professor of theoretical physics at the City University of New York. In his book, Hyperspace, Kaku suggests that there is a mechanism capable of warping time. And Kaku does not rule out the possibility that another, more advanced civilization may have already found that mechanism the unified field that Einstein dreamt about. The new wrinkle, which has caused quite a bit of excitement among theoretical physicists, is that perhaps this river of time can have eddy currents, whirlpools, and perhaps may even fork at a crucial juncture in history. But where those forks and eddies are, no one knows. The cosmic highway isn't marked with signs saying, wormhole next right, or this way to ancient Egypt. At this point, just finding holes in space is more of a stumbling block than traveling through them. Perhaps in outer space, extraterrestrials may have the capability, with a technology thousands of years beyond our own, to open a hole in space and to begin to manipulate the fabric of space and time. And that is precisely how Mark Davenport explains his belief that many UFO sightings are, in fact, extraterrestrial spacecraft. In Visitors from Time, Davenport describes hundreds of reported UFO sightings and alien abduction cases that he believes support his time travel theories. So my hypothesis is that these people who operate these ships, their technology is so advanced that they've actually figured out a way to artificially warp space-time the way a black hole does naturally. And if that's true, it could mean they could be coming here not only from other planets, but from other star systems, other galaxies, other dimensions that coexist with ours, parallel universes, even our own future or our own past. By collating and cross-referencing specifics from eyewitnesses, Davenport believes he has compelling evidence that many UFOs are actually time machines. We have the uh, occupants of these craft are continually telling people they're, they ask them questions like, what time is it? What is time? What is your time? What is age? What is a year? And they say, you, you are caught in time and we're not. Our time is different from yours. Time is distorted in the, in the vicinity of these craft and inside these craft. A lot of times people's watches will stop. We have people who say that their voices are distorted when they're near this craft, like when they breathe helium or something. So. We, we have all sorts of indication that these things are in some kind of a field that warps space and time. And one day, according to Michio Kaku, science will catch up with science fiction, and we will create a time machine of our own. Most of my friends watch science fiction because they want to dream about what may be possible in the future. Real scientists at the cutting edge, working on the unified field theory, working on higher dimensions, working on time travel, these are the ones who are playful. These are the ones who let their imagination soar into hyperspace. Not all scientists agree with Michio Kaku's hyperspace theory. Eminent physicist Stephen Hawking has stated that time travel is impossible because we've never been visited by any tourists from the future. Or have we?